Just the reverb. Can you turn? Um, okay, so now everyone, what, what channel do you I think it's the third. Wait. No, no, I think it's the first one. Um, Try it out, 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 and it's better and it's not feeding back. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going on. I think we're on the edge. Okay. Are we on the edge? We're biting the edge. Yeah. It's a little hot. But I can turn it. That's probably good. Try it. Do you want to sing? Do you want to sing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. okay. There's space here if people want to sing. You ready? Okay. Great. Hello again. Hello. Hello. Hi, Isabel. Okay. Um, there's also there still is seats here. You there? You in the back? Come closer. <laughs> You're okay. Are you gonna dance? They're gonna dance. Okay. Good. Oh, good, good luck. luck. That's good. Good luck. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. So before I forget, I wanna also no, cute. There's a lot of um, welcome our our virtual friends because we are live here. Hi, virtual friends. We believe in you, even though we can't see you. <laughs> you also belong. Do you wanna use this mic so they can hear you too? I don't know. Oh, our virtual friends. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hello, virtual friends. We believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. So I want to share that there was a couple months back, and Adam was like, 
hey, Isabel, where do you think, where should I have my album release party? And I was like, floating hot tub on the Willamette. Because <laughs> I had just learned that they exist. <laughs> yeah, they exist, everybody, they exist. Yeah. And I was like, or my backyard. Um, and we were talking earlier and just saying how we really made the right choice. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> Some of you are like, Because mm. <laughs> we're all, because we get to all the be here. Um, and Adam was sharing, this is just a very, this is a pivotal moment for him. His first time playing out since the vid, right? Well, since like living here. Really. Since living, yeah. oh yeah, since moving to Portland. <laughs> uh -huh. First time playing out. Yay. And it's his freaking album release party. Yay. Um, and another thing I want to share is that uh, all of these folks, pretty much all of these folks, are on the album with Adam. I just yeah. didn't meet some of them soon enough to have them on the album. Yeah. This is the only ones we want. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is a very special configuration we got going here of dear friends, old and new. And none of them have actually played together before today. Oh, yeah. First ever time we're playing together. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yes, we are so fortunate. Um, and that's it that I'm going to say. Thanks so much. Yeah, and please enjoy Adam Rowland. And friends that will be introduced soon. And they friends. exist. They have names. Yeah, <laughs> you will learn about them. <laughs> but right now, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Spell for, yeah. for MCU. Yes. Yes. And posting. And just for a moment, we're just gonna do this thing. It might create a lot of anxiety, and that's okay, because we're welcoming everything. We can turn to someone you either know or don't know, and just tell them your name, your pronouns, and something beautiful that either you witnessed or happened to you recently. Just take a moment. Just do a little, maybe take a moment to just think about that beautiful moment. Could be visual, internal, external, relational, whatever. And. Don't think about it too long. Take a moment and turn to the person next to you. Share your name, pronouns, something beautiful. If you see someone who doesn't have someone, bring it all in. Everyone can share if they want to. What's something beautiful that happened? What's something beautiful you witnessed for Mine is this. <laughs> I got to witness um, people like a person that I really with like get like animatedly talking about something they were passionate about with people that they Thank you. That was really sweet. So, but, uh, I'm just I'm I'm this whole scene is really beautiful. After our party having done this. If you haven't had both people share, make sure you have both people share, or a tree, the tree is sharing, give them a turn to it. Okay, wrap it up, thanking your new friends or old friends for this moment, sharing, community, personship, humanship the ship of humans that we're on called the Earth. And now, thank you so much for connecting outwardly. Let's take a moment to connect inwardly. Just check in with yourself. You can close your eyes, maybe taking a deep breath, maybe opening your eyes, maybe hearing the timeless cry of a child and the timeless sound of a and feeling the earth under you and just giving gratitude internally for whatever arises being in this body being on this earth being with the seen and unseen energies of this space those who've been here for 
time immemorial we're graced to be on the lands of the Clackamas and the Multnomah and so many, so many names and beings and grace to be amongst each other's company today and in this space. So thank you for bringing your mm. precious attention, your precious time, and your precious bodies to be here, whether you enjoy yourself or not. I'm really enjoying <laughs> that you are all here together. This, is, this has not happened um, in a while in my world, mm. and so to be celebrated for me. So we're going to go on a little journey here tonight together. We're introducing some songs to you that some of you might know, some of them, some of them are newer. Um, and this, these songs span about seven years or eight years back um, when I really kind of took a little bit of a lay mystic uh, pivot in life. And I don't mean mystic as in something that we don't already uh, um, have access to, but just not centering rationalism or materialism. And as queer and trans people, many of us have already had to create other worlds to live in and know that there's so much vaster realities than this construct that we call um, reality, shared reality. And so part of that for me is just welcoming everything as sacred, not keeping anything out from that, not keeping the painful or the unpleasant or thinking that that meant that something was bad. So that's a big theme, a big thread through here. And this first uh, song, I believe you have the lyrics too. And you're welcome to sing it, because the song is called Welcome. Um, are you playing it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what would we do without each other, really? We wouldn't exist, period. But also, I wouldn't know where to put my capo on my guitar. Thank you, Andrew. Um, yeah, so you'll get it. Or you won't, but it's okay. Cause either way, you're welcome to sing or welcome not to. You're welcome to stay or welcome to leave. You're welcome to go to the bathroom. You're welcome to get snacks. I really appreciate your attention, but it's, you know, whatever you want. Okay, um, is there anything else we need to say before this song?
like honestly. Mm. Turn down the guitar. Yeah. The harmony's really loud. Yeah, my bass is really. That's what I was thinking too. But we don't want to feed that here. Uh huh. Yeah. How high can go? That's better. You're, you're starting to feel, right? I think. Yeah. Maybe turn it up. Slightly. Yeah, turn, turn, down. turn it down a little bit. Okay, let's try this. Okay. I'm the blue. I'm the blue. Okay, yeah, that'll be better. Will Thank you. you. That's you what I was doing, too. Uh, will you tap it later? <sighs> okay, so then of course when we let it all in, it's really heartbreaking. Oh. Right. So we're going on that journey now. And then we're like, God, humans are so disappointing. But then they're also like this wonderful portal to the sacred. And we're like, what is sacred and what is human? And then we're like, oh, damn, it's all the same. I love it. I hate it. But luckily, there are refuges beyond humans. <laughs> you take refuge in. So this is about that moment of the heartbreak where you're like, oh, I was putting way too much on you. I'm sorry. Like, that was my bad. Um, okay. But, yeah. And you might use the word, I don't know. I use, I use a lot of terms here. Um, it's really feeling bad. That uh, you might resonate with or you might not. Uh, I use the word spirit in this song and the term higher power in this song. You figure what that means for you. That's not a relationship with a human. Because <laughs> that's the point. All right. <laughs> and then we'll just see about this. Yeah. Thank you for your honest feedback, Riley. We'll keep counting on you. This is still a bit loud. And I really do have strong feelings about eggs, which the first line <laughs> is about. <laughs> it's not what the breakup was about, though. Well, she likes the yolk, and I like the whites. I'll meet her in that field. She could never be, I've turned her into you When you are everything To do the things that I don't want But I know are true Are perhaps the bravest things That I could ever do So a higher power hold me And this quivering heart, yes Closeness means nothing when you and I are far apart. Sorry I have been, but there's something that knows I'm enough just as I am. And you too. So I won't let the shoulds or coulds plague this mind no more. I'm just sorry I didn't let your love in long before. Cause I need a love that's bigger than love. That can hold the heartache and fear So I'm falling for you, spirit And you'll take it from here But there's still that voice, you know There's still that voice that tells me I'm living for her approval But there's one getting louder saying in myself 
hope if it's true for me, then it must be for everybody else. singing gay praise songs, you know? <laughs> I'm not from that culture, but it kind of feels like. <laughs> praise gay. Gay saved by gay. Uh, anyway, how, are the, how is the mix now? Oh, thank you. Good. Great. You did it. You did it. How's, every, how's everyone else doing? How about, uh, mm. how are we doing, Gene? Can you hear it? Okay, great. All right, so now we get into the self-soothing portion of our evening. <laughs> if you haven't been already, please take this opportunity to hold your heart physically or um, energetically or whatever you do. Feel the earth on your feet. Uh, this is a song I wrote when I was, well, I was walking around Olympia, Washington, actually. You are? neighborhood, your neighborhood, and I was in the midst of a broken heart in 2017, and so I wrote the song for my broken heart, and it turns out when you write a song for a broken heart, you're speaking to a lot of hearts, so uh, this song has kind of become its own thing, maybe you heard it, maybe you haven't, but it also in your little, your little pamphlet, um, and may it be yours now, this is for your heart too, it's called Ease Up the Rains. And um, I think that's all we have to say about this. I think we uh, Oh, we're also going to sing it. And it's a bit of like a round, like there's two parts, and you can sing them at the same time. So you'll get in where you fit in. We'll figure this out together. I trust us. Shall we? Yes, I think go. I have the burp right. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> you did. Ease up the rains on your heart, on your heart. Ease up the rains, you're so hard on your heart. Ease up the rains on your heart, on your heart. Ease up the rains, you're so hard on your heart. Second part. Oh, baby, oh, sweet baby. Oh, baby, you're okay. Oh, baby, oh, sweet baby. Part one and part two can be sung at the same time. All right, and we'll just we're just gonna jam on this. We're gonna see what we create together here. And you too, people out there, sing along. <laughs> My mom and dad are there in that camera. Hi, dad. Thanks for making out. <laughs> Ease up the reins, on your heart, on your heart. Ease up the reins, you're so hard on your heart. Ease up the reins, on your heart, on your heart. Ease up the reins, you're so hard on your heart. Oh, baby, oh, sweet baby. Oh, baby, you're okay. Oh. the rain. 
babies in the house, keeping it down. And our inner babies. Okay, wow, that was really fun. Thanks, that was really fun. So, now we're on the point of the journey where we recognize suffering is arising due to a sense of exceptionalism as if this human life shouldn't have suffering in it. I shouldn't have pain in it. And it actually, I'm special. I, I'm, not, I'm not, you know, subject to the causes and conditions of all human lives, of old age, sickness, and death. And, um, and yeah, it's a long, painful drop from exceptionalism. So I, I know myself because I am an individual in this culture of individualism. So maybe you can relate, maybe not. This is a song called, Oh, the Pain of Wanting to Be Special. <laughs> and um, a spiritual teacher named Matthew Brensilver, a spiritual teacher of mine named Matthew, said one time, none of you are special. And I was like, <gasps> Matthew. And he goes, but you're all worthy. And I was like, yes. And then I had nightmares that night about white supremacy and internalized supremacist values that I've just been breathing since birth about specialness and how different that is than just inherent worthiness. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. so here we go. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Thank you. And how. And how. And how. And how. I do, but it ain't. <laughs> All of that. What are we doing on? We're, we're doing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, wait, before this, I just want to tell a story. <laughs> Ramdas Ram Das told this story about how he, um, like, burned all of his belongings and all of his old pictures, and he was like, I'm nobody, I'm just like a... You know, I'm like a spiritual being, I'm not a human. But then the irony was that he totally documented the whole thing. And there's like a video of him doing that. And I think I, there's a video of me playing this on the internet, like multiple places. And not, I'm not Ram Das, but like, it's just ironic. It's just ironic. I'm like up here with the microphone. Huh? Exactly. What could be more real? Thank you, Sam. Yeah, you're worthy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, ours are all stories of triumph, of the good ones coming out on the top, of a protagonist and maybe a sidekick, a heroine who cannot be stopped. It's no wonder I want to be a star of this here myth. It's no wonder I want you to think I'm someone who couldn't possibly exist. <laughs> and oh, the pain of wanting to be special. And oh, to try and measure the immeasurable. And oh, to try and own the sky with a jar of air. No, I am not special. My worthiness is everywhere. And then there's love. The romantic kind. Well, I want to know all of your secrets and be different than all of the rest. Well, I want to slip into where no one has been, if only to be known as the best. Ah! It's no wonder I can't stop thinking about you incessantly. It's no wonder we take love so damn personally. I know the pain of wanting to be special. Oh, to identify with the ephemeral. No, to try and own the sky with a jar of air. And no, I am not special. My worthiness lives everywhere. Any Anya Franco fans out there? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. This is like classic castle on this one. 
Sochansky back there. and remembered for all the good stuff that I've said and done. I don't want to admit that when I take a shit, well, it stinks just like yours and everyone. It's no wonder I can't love the parts of you that I can't love in myself. For me, it's, it's no wonder I want you to think I'm someone I couldn't No, we are not special. Our worthiness lives everywhere. No, we are not special. Our worthiness lives everywhere. Join me if you want. No, we are not special. Our worthiness lives everywhere. No, we are not shame, but like how most of us are internally raising a hand saying, it's hard to say I'm worthy and it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, quantum <laughs> physics will say, and you could probably tell, I don't know, lots of people could maybe tell me otherwise, but I heard once from a quantum physicist book okay. that, um, <laughs> <laughs> that like, if, I don't know, the universe is shaped such that yeah. any way, any, yes. any point is a center. Yes. 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 Right. Okay, the astrophysicists speak. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, just, I mean, which same thing? The real timeless astrophysicist. Yes. So the thing about worthiness being everywhere and um, us all being the center of the universe somehow, some way, is that like belonging is just like not a question. It just is. Right. Like you can't help it. Cause like I am because of you are, and you are because everything. And sorry. Like you might not feel like you belong because it's like, oh, gentrification and settler colonialism. And like, yeah, that's fucked up. But like also, didn't it all come from feeling like one didn't belong? So like, let's trace it to the source. I'm not saying those things aren't happening. And don't. I literally played this next song about belonging and my four-year-old friend was like, but, but aren't we settler colonists? And I was like, bless your fucking parents who are my best friends. <laughs> um, some people might know some of the, um, oh, you're probably there. There. <laughs> Bless you and your children. Um, and I was like, yes, right? That's complex. Um, so here we are singing a complex song about complex things and belonging. Mm -hmm. And this is a song that should be in your brochure or whatever we're calling that. Um, you'll figure it out. It goes I and then you and then we. It just gets bigger and bigger every time we sing it. And um, this is the title track of the album, Belong. Yeah. yeah. My dad turns this into a church hymn, and he like, his, his Unitarian Universalist church has been singing it. It's very sweet. Yeah. yeah. He like really, like sort of, yes, beautiful. Beautifully done, Dad. Hmm? He plays it on the piano, I think. He plays piano. But maybe someone plays it on the organ, I don't know. I wasn't there. Um, okay. Um, to this earth, I belong, I belong, I belong, with all of my dignity, all of my worth, I belong, I belong, I belong, I belong to this family, to this tree of life, I belong, I belong, I belong, 
there's nothing no one can do to untie these ties. I belong, I belong, I belong. And I am not the worst thing that I've ever done. I'm not the ways I think I might be bothering someone. Sorry, neighbors, I am not better than, less than, or equal. People are people. You, you belong to your body. You belong to this earth. You belong, you belong, you belong. With all of your dignity, all of your worth. You belong, you belong, you belong. You belong to this family, to this tree of life. You belong, you belong, you belong. There's nothing no one can do to untie these ties. You belong, you belong, you belong. And you're not the worst thing that you've ever done. You're not the ways you think you might be bothering someone. And you are not better than, less than, or equal. People are people. We, we belong to these bodies. We belong to this earth. We belong, we belong, we belong. We follow the We're not the ways we think we might be bothering someone And we are not better than, less than, or equal People are people Neglected to introduce these fabulous humans I behind too. me. Huh? They, they do, but they are not my belongings. We've established that is not <laughs> happening. I belong to them, and they belong to me. This is Max Katz on the flute. <laughs> Max also plays under a different name. Flume. Max, Max Katz is the lead. Oh, Max Katz. Um, they've got a lot of wonderful loopy, pedally, flutey, like, Ooh. they're a one-person band, and they also Ooh. play bass at the same time sometimes, and yeah, yeah, Max, I'm really glad to have met Max, and thanks for coming over and introducing me. Yes, thank you, this is Max Katz, in case you didn't get that, Woo! Two X's on the Max, and this is Or, O-R-E, Or, G Pinto! <laughs> On the vocals and the very important <laughs> egg shaker. Mm -hmm. This is a big day for that name. And Ben, who's responsible for bringing our wonderful band from Olympia, Fox the Dog, to this. And actually, he was the only one to really record from afar. So, like, also extra props for like having to be kind of like in isolation essentially, like playing the drums to us being recorded. And now he's here with all of us. And yay, Ben Lucal for being here from Olympia. I love you. I met Ben a long time ago at a Unitarian Universalist church in Boston when he was playing drums. And by drums, we mean like a cardboard box because that's what we called them back then, right? Yeah. yeah. And going by Lumpia this evening on the bass all the way from Oakland, California. Lumpia. <laughs> A little known fact about Lumpia, um, he just learned how to play the stand-up bass yesterday. Wow! Yesterday, because we didn't have an electric guitar bass until Riley so kindly brought it today. And so he was just like, I can work with that. He didn't even say that, he just did it. He's that smooth. And then Johnny 
Rezvani, my dear heart, the one who's really responsible for like recording this album and having having getting it to happen is here from Colorado and he's working the like backstage things with all the cameras and the Johnny, thank you for being here. And Shiva joining him from Colorado and going to like run and get the things while we were like, Oh, we're missing the thing and the dongle and the dangle and the charger and anyway, thank you all. This has been a very many, many people. There'll be more names later, but we'll play more music now. So we were just talking about belonging. And that's like, what a strange phenomena that we have to even like contend with that. But at one point we, we belonged to um, the land we were from and the people we were from and the, the bones of those people that were there and the deities of that land. And so this is a song about grieving that loss of belonging and contending with what do we do now in this strange world. Um, yeah, this is a song to my ancestors um, of European descent, because there are some that are not. Um, yeah, so I think that's all we have to say about that. <sighs> those old songs you sacrifice those stories too you sacrifice the language you sacrifice the old ways taken from the lands of your birds and of our ancestors graves yeah i don't want to write a cheap bribe I call them sacrifices you spared our lives but not without the price of whiteness yeah I don't want to write a new song and how do we explain this to ourselves and are young and how we gonna change this without some ancient wisdom how do we scratch the surface of the debt to which we owe you and the countless beings who suffer in that we tacitly approve I gotta write a, a new song asking me to sing for you, you're asking me to grieve, yeah, so here I'm writing a, a new song, yeah, here I'm writing a new song, far from being an old bard, I'm leaving new and old, prayers casting them 
to unborn born yards here we you for honoring your ancestors and all that they did, all that they are. And all the shit that they did that we aren't proud of. And so we welcome the wound as we welcome the balm. And we welcome whatever guides your life in a way that's beyond the material realm. In this song, we're using the G word. Watch out, we're using the G word. I did not write the lyrics. They came from a Greek healing sect, whom I do not know. They were name dropped as a Greek healing sect in a Dharma talk. And I have yet to follow up with that teacher. So, we just sing it. And the words are also in your piece of paper. Yes, and so as we, we venture toward the end of our lay mystic journey, we are again welcoming everything as sacred and um, seeing the divine in all of it, in the wound, in the healing. And because they're so similar. Just get back in the groove. God sends the wound. God is the wound. God is wounded. God heals the wound. God sends the wound. God is the wound. God is wounded.
or lameness or snows or anything on me just because it won't exist at some point. Although we are welcome to encores, we may have one or two in our back pocket. This is our last formal song. <laughs> Special thanks to Isabel, Noah, Remy, for hosting us, opening your backyard and your bathrooms, letting us be here and having this like fun relationship of like many years that I didn't even know. <laughs> when I played the co-op that you used to live in in Eugene many years ago. And um, thank you for Lauren and for Jude and for Ava and for all those who came early to help set up. This has been such a labor of love. Um, this album is just kind of, it's there. It's not, it's here. It's here because of many people. That's what I want to say. And, and you, thank you. Um, all these songs are on it. You're welcome. Um, and more. There's more songs. We didn't play them. Yeah. It depends on how many encore you want. So. And thanks for tuning in online. I don't know how you do anything online, so thanks for just taking in there. <laughs> um, um, if you like, you know, like the 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 um, the money that you donate tonight is going to um, our our traveling musicians. Fox the dog, and some people came from really far, like Andrew from Oakland, Johnny came from Colorado, and, and also want to um, tithe to the space and um, the, the ancestors of this land and those who are still thriving and surviving here of indigenous heritage from this land, so that will also be a portion of your contributions. Um, if you want to get the album, it's on Bandcamp, you know, you got the, you got the QR codes, I don't need to do that anymore, you know where to find it. Come hang out afterwards. I wrote this song um, on my birthday when I was living with Ben for a summer. Um, yeah. That's all I'll say. The biggest shame in living is forgetting I am dying. say it, but I wake up sometimes in the trance of the living dead. It's as if I am not alive. I mess up the words so you might hear a, a line or two again. I hate to say it, but I move through life sometimes in a trance of the living dead. It's as if already died and every step I take from this place I take for granted when I learned you weren't walking this earth with us that's when I felt my feet the loudest and every breath I take from this place I take in vain Of each ancestor that made it so Of the violet and the bullfrog And the freshly fallen snow And the biggest gift in living Is remembering I am dying dry dirt to greet the robin you all have been so freaking sweet thank you for having us thank you for being here thank you for your precious attention don't pretend to leave the stage Oh, stop it, keep going. Stop it, keep going. Stop it. Stop it. You're good at that. You're good. More. More.
Sometimes it really pays to ask for what you want, even if it's not like exactly what the other people want to give. I trust that you will go home when you want to go home. We just have a little blessing for you before that. In the in the key of the album. <laughs> Literally, and figuratively. <laughs> um, how does it start? Uh, may you, okay. May you look toward the beauty. May it look for you. May you lean toward the glory and the gratitude. May the silence come easy. And may the laughter come strong. May the music ring out loud, and may the music ring out long. And when the pain comes around like it's bound to do, may you open up to it and let the spirit in too. It's like a God is my dom kind of thing, but only, it's like I can say, Everything's just fine. <laughs> may you look toward the beauty, and may you look for you. May you lean toward the glory and the gratitude. May the silence come easy. May the laughter come strong. May the music ring out loud. May the music ring out long. Thanks for letting us bless you and blessing us and giving us your love and attention and time and sharing it, sharing it. Maybe we can do like an after party if you choose to stay, but if you want to leave now and you need to move your chair, this I want to respect your bedtime. Okay. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. I hope we keep playing with you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.